Hey y'all. Hey, what's going on? Okay, so happy Friday to everybody. I'm keeping the door cracked because I got Symphony out there. Ladies, I need to have a question. I mean, I need to have a discussion with you ladies. And I really, and fellas, and I really want you to comment in the box because I am going to be reading it. Okay, so today I went to court and... It was really interesting. At first, you know, I was really upset. I saw Matthew and, you know, I saw what he posted earlier trying to quote scriptures on his blog. And I caught up to him. And I was like, Matthew, how can you be doing this to your wife? And da 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 da. And he was ignoring me. And I said, Matthew. And then he goes, security, like, point out a, a police officer. So I heard it and walked away because I said, I don't have time for that. And so I saw his mother and his father, and I told his father and mother, I was like, I should sue the crap out of y'all. Well, I told him, I'm going to sue the crap out of y'all. And they all three got up and walked away. And so when I went inside of the, the court, we waited and waited and waited and waited. And I was really hoping that the woman judge that was there, I was hoping that she was going to be the judge. But in fact, they switched the courtroom to a different judge. And I said, oh, here we go again. So, went in there. Y'all gotta understand. You know, one thing I would say that I do like about that judge is that he did let me cross-examine the witness. So, I was cross-examining my father-in-law. I was like, did you come to the defendants, Ramona and Matthew, with an offer to move, um, to utilize Ramona's business as the as the the um the buying agent and so he was like yes i did and i was like answer the question sir <laughs> you know i guess now i can laugh because at first i was in tears and all this other stuff but anyway so the verdict is i got a roll and so i'm like okay cool so i called everybody up because this whole house is furnished and i told everybody to get your u-hauls and i'm pretty much 97 percent of the things 97% of the stuff in this house I'm giving away. And so that's how it stands. They want the property back. Fine, you can have the property back. So this is what I want to speak to you ladies. And the whole time I'm holding Symphony in my hand, she's crying. Grandmother didn't even offer to hold her. He didn't care. My husband sitting there zooted just like, so? Because at first he tried to sit beside me. I said, ah! Go sit. You need to be over there with your lawyer. I asked the judge that this is lawyer. It's a conflict. He was like, mm, motion denied. Mm, I was like, okay, fine, fine, fine. So, I want to ask you ladies about, and fellas, about divorce. I know I have a smile on my face now. It's because, you know, I, I feel like I cried so long that I don't, you know, especially today I cried. It was like, Your Honor, it's up to you. And it, and the way that his lawyer asked, t describe to us about the house. Well, you know, the house is 20-something miles square foot and all this and the third. And I'm thinking to myself, like, this is just crazy to me. It's freaking crazy to me. You want your house back, have it. You got it. I'm not even... I'm only going to get mine. I always get mine. So I'm good with that. I'm fine. I'm well with that. I said I'm going to take pictures of my baby's nursery. So she knows that mom put it together. And I'm just going to start donating everything. And I'm going to start from um, ground zero on up. And cool. I'm revamping myself anyway. So. But I wanted to speak to you ladies about divorce. I want to be very honest, open, and um, very transparent to y'all. I do not like my husband. I don't like him. I almost want to say I hate him. I, but I know hate is a very strong word. And I'm not supposed to say that being saved and, and God wants us to love everyone. But... When do you file for a divorce? I mean, I did email him and I told him, you know, the paper that he has on divorce to let me let me look at it. I just feel like at this particular time, he didn't protect me or Symphony. He allowed his father and mother to dictate. Um, he had a judge when I plead out to the judge. I just feel embarrassed by him. 
I honestly feel like at this particular time, if he was the up and being in a relationship with someone else, I feel sorry for whoever he's in a relationship with, for real. And actually, I feel like maybe this would be my escape goat, you know, if he does. But I'm, I just, I'm just being real with y'all, you know. I don't like him. I just feel like the man that I married is not the man that... And everybody says, well, you know he's dealing with... Nah. I... So I want to be... I, I want to speak to you ladies um, who are married and who understands the value of marriage. And some of y'all may be being your second marriage and everything. I really want y'all to tell me... Is it was y'all in this situation? And I know, I you know, marriage it says for better for worse. Okay, so this we had a really good time. I mean, we we used to rock shows, party together, we used to joke and everything, and that was the better time. And then for worse, you know, where I y'all know I went through with losing my babies and um, both of us, and this is the worst time right here for uh, for what is it for better or for worse. From uh, sickness, from health, this we had good health, and then I was dealing with my health issues. Um, to death do you part. So the only time that you can go along is when somebody, when one of the spouses died. I just feel like at this particular time, and I'm being transparent with y'all, he's not even deserving to be my husband. Like he doesn't deserve me. I. And I'm going to be very honest with you. I don't want to speak it over my life because in the future, I may have someone that will have my back and will hold my hand and look me in my eyes and tell me that they would never do me wrong like he did. And they may be true, but it's hard for me to trust after what has happened. And it's hard for me to trust my daughter around that too because it wasn't just that it wasn't just the way he did to me. It's a reflection on if he couldn't hold if he couldn't hold his own wife hand or protect her, then I don't see him doing that for our daughter. I just don't. And then you know, people can say, Well, it's one thing when you don't love someone when you love your kids. Nah, even when she was crying in the courtroom, y'all gotta understand, the judge allowed me to cross-examine while I'm holding her. But I think he was doing that just for amusement, for real, for real. And, um, I do in my flesh, I would, if, if it's in my flesh, y'all, I would say, heck yeah, I want a divorce. I'm, I'm ready to sign. I would sign with my nails, with my toenails, with my eyelashes. I'm, I just need you ladies to tell me, what do you think? And, you know, I'm, I haven't stopped praying, even though in a sense maybe I had for him. But I saw him, how he, he opened the door for somebody when we were walking through the courtroom. And he saw me coming with the stroller and he didn't even open the door for us. I saw how... Um, He didn't care. And I think he think he's not, I think he think he's irreplaceable. But I really want to do a Beyonce and be like to the left, for real. And your mother and your father, I hope they live forever to take care of you. Because you are a coward. You are a coward. I hope it dawns on to him what he has done. And I don't want to be bitter from it. I don't. And so, you know, now I'm smiling now because I'm like, okay, you know, and everything. I can't lose my cool because I got to hold it down for my daughter. And which I feel like, if I look back at everything and said that in order for me to go to term, that I was going to lose my husband and the home that we stay in. Then I got a better deal then. I, I really got a good deal because I, I love my daughter. It's just that I trusted this man with everything. So I just need to, I, I need to ask you ladies this. I need to be transparent with it. Because I used to always be like, mm-mm, 
When you marry, you marry for better, for worse, sickness, health, all that good stuff. And you still, that's your husband. You became one. You took a covenant before God. And I'm just like, you know, I know, I, I feel like this. Okay, so people are like, Mona, if a divorce does come, then you don't foul. Y'all, I really, I just want him to know you are not. I don't like him. I don't like him anymore. I He has hurt me so bad. He has hurt me so bad. And um sometimes what if it, what if this means something, okay? What if, you know, when you do get a divorce, you're technically not supposed to get married. And then there's some people that do get a divorce and do get married and they're happily ever ever after. Would I be upset if Matthew is with someone right now? Heck no, because to be honest with you, he's not worth right now to me. He's not worth fighting. I mean, I guess he's worth a prayer. So I guess if he's worth prayer, then he's worth fighting. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, what do you do? Ladies, I, I, I really need y'all insight on this. Okay, so I know Mona, it's time for me to roll. Which is cool. I'm ready to just do. I, I don't know how it's going to happen, but I know it's going to happen. And I'm ready to just go for it with my life. I'm ready for what God, God showed me in a dream. And I'm believing it. So. Who is that? So my question is. Somebody, I hope ain't nobody at my door. So my question is, is, um, when do you throw in the towel? I really, I really do want to divorce him. I, but, but then I really do, I want to save my marriage, but everything that he has done to me, I, I don't like him, and a part of me want to say I hate him, but I don't want to say that because hate is a very strong word, but he has done me so so wrong that I, I just, I'm ashamed of him. I'm ashamed to even say that this is the man that I walked down the aisle with. This is the man that we took a covenant together. This is the man that, you know, we planned our future together. He... This is just, I mean, I, I can't really, at first I said I was living a like nightmare. Now I'm just like, okay, I'm over it. It's just time for me to do whatever. But it's still, they did it purposely because they didn't want me to, to move ahead. But God is in control. So ladies, let me stop talking to myself. What would you do? And I'm not saying I'm going off of, but I would love the insight. I would love the wisdom. What would you do? Because my flesh I really, my flesh, I really want to go ham on him for real, for real. When I mean ham, I want to go southeast ghetto and tell him, you're not even worth the, the, ugh, they are, I don't want to, I'm not like that anymore. I'm not like that anymore. I have to show love. But I will say this is that I do, I, if, I know that in August that he's supposed to be filing for a divorce. And if the judge, because the judge is there doing whatever they want anyway, if he says, hey, then hey, you know. So I guess as the innocent bystander, I would just have to wait for that. But I'm going to tell y'all something. I really do. I hate him. <laughs> I No, no, no. I don't even want to say I hate him. I don't like him. I don't like him. I don't like him. I don't trust him. I'm ashamed of him. I'm hurt by him. I wish that he was what he was when I married him. When I married my husband, my husband was strong. He had a backbone. He stood tall. He was very intelligent, very funny, very charming. He was like, he was like that in a bag of chips. But this man right here. I don't trust them. I don't. And now I'm just like this. 
I don't care if you find you a Boquisha or a Nita, a Nicole, or a Kimmy, or a Stacy, or Kelly. There is no way in hell. It's I, I'm sorry, I'm being transparent. Okay, y'all. I gotta be transparent. In the next 10, 15 minutes, is I'm I probably gonna change. But he has brought brought shame with the S, with the capital S upon our family. He will have to explain to our daughter what he has done. And his father and his mother are liable as well. So my question to you ladies is when would you throw in the towel? How would you carry this? What would you do? Give me a scripture, sister, please. Because at this particular time, between fighting all of these lawyers, between fighting your parents, and you are a 37 year old man, you're not even. It's you know how some things are worth fighting for. Some things are worth fighting for, but. But he's not. He's not. He's spoiled. And he doesn't care. He's going around here quoting scriptures. And he doesn't care. He wants to crawl on the mommy and daddy. And he wants to, he wants his 71 something odd parents to take care of them. Didn't have. And his father act like he's so old school because he's such a baby boomer. Well, if you old school, then you know that to be ahead of your household, to be a man, and you stay in front, you do not cave in. And you don't come for mommy and daddy to put you in your own place and, play, and pay your rent and give you a monthly stipend and you abandon your wife and your child. You might as well just be called a coward. It's like one of those people when it's time to fight in war, instead of you being in the forefront, instead of you holding your ground and holding your arms, you are in a hole and you're hiding and waiting for the war to end. I am so ashamed of my husband right now. I am. And I, you know what? I have to say that I did take my vows. I did take my vows seriously. So I guess I would have to wait for him to go ahead and file for a divorce. But I'm going to tell you something. I said, Lord, you know, I know that you're against divorce. I know you are. But there's plenty of women out here and men that got married again. And they found exactly who they were looking for. And they found happiness in that. And I know that a man, if this is not the man that's for me, God, then you got something much better for me. And it doesn't even, I don't need a man to define my happiness. All I need is God. But I'm going to tell you something. If I was to find me a real man, oh, he would be vicious. Because with a strong woman behind him, he wouldn't let. My husband never left. But for him to do what he has done to me, I know I have to forgive. So I will forgive. I will say I love him. I will say I love my father-in-law and I love my mother-in-law. And um, what they have done is wrong. She bounced and watching her shows. What they have done is wrong. Um, but um, I mean, I'm not talking about just the whole house. Houses can be replaced. I'm not tripping off of that. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. What wrong with my baby? Wrong with my boo? Wrong with my baby? That's what I want to know. I just I just need you ladies to I need y'all to keep it real with me. This is real stuff I I need to talk about. When do you throw in a towel? When do you throw in a towel? Um And I feel like too like I feel like I feel like I need a fresh Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute right now. Wait a minute right now. Give me some kisses. 
<laughs> Say hi. Say what my mouth. I'm ready to eat my food. Yeah, so I gotta talk to y'all. I gotta talk to y'all. I gotta tend to her real quick. But tell me what y'all um I really want a divorce. I really do. But then I really I'm I'm like I don't want to be like everybody else and get a divorce. I don't want to be a part of that statistic. And I know that things happen. But I'm like, I just thought that we were in, in, we were unstoppable, unbreakable. I thought that we can, we could do whatever we wanted as long as we stuck together. I had no idea that he was going, he was going to sell out like that. I had no idea that he was going to do me like that. I'm going to tell you something. I done messed with trifling men in my day. I did. But he, I should be talking about her, him around my baby. Boom, 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 boom,